All right, guys, how's it going? So, in this video, we're going to be talking about Darwin Nunes uh, and all the drama surrounding the removal of those Liverpool photos uh, from his Instagram account. Now, at the time, uh, I made a video about it, giving my opinion as to why I thought he'd done that, right? Uh, you know, because some people are trying to suggest, oh, he's taken all these Liverpool photos down, he's pushing for a move away from Liverpool. I didn't see it as that. What I thought it was, was he was sick of getting the barrage of abuse from as you know, Liverpool fans, so-called Liverpool fans, uh, as well as opposition fans and things like that. But the association, the hate was coming to do with his appearances for Liverpool, not for country, but for Liverpool for club, right? Or club, as Rafa Benitez would say, <laughs> for sure, right? So, and I looked at my own personal experiences and I, and I explained, you know, I, how I could relate to it on a different level, obviously. Um, but we're all human beings at the end of the day. And if you receive abuse and hate, I can assure you it's not very nice. No matter how fucking big you think you are or what you portray in your persona and all that. DKB, don't uh, uh, bothers me. But when the camera stops you, it can really hurt you. And, you know, I look back to uh, Istanbul when we won the Champions League. Uh, and I was getting so much hate and abuse at the time from people that had been turned away from my website. They were targeting me, they were targeting my family, including my kids, my cousin that was paralysed. They were putting pictures of, you know, my family on on, on the internet. Um, just total harassment, you know, like, I remember the council coming to my house one day, you know, come to collect a carcass, you know, of your dog. I was like, what are you talking about? They said, your dog's died, and it, carcass? And I was like, no, things like that. Uh, making allegations, smearing me, just everything you could imagine. And it was horrendous. And because of that, I didn't enjoy the 2005 Champions League final because I wasn't interested in Liverpool Football Club at that time. They ruined it for me, if you like. And um, I didn't want anything to do with Liverpool Football Club. People would say to me at the weekend, how did Liverpool I'm fucking know you. You know, I didn't want to know. And um, some of you will remember my son Rob at the time. You know, I was living just outside Newcastle then because I was racing greyhounds at, at Bruff Park and I probably had a dozen ray, uh, racing greyhounds. Very good as well. Uh, boot room boy, boot room girl, faster than knowing, things like that. You know, all Liverpool connected, ironically. And um, my son Rob, you know, at one point had a Newcastle United top. We were up in that area and... Um, you know, his friends were supporting Newcastle and we were all Liverpool, but then I was so sick of Liverpool, I was like, I don't want my son to grow up being a Liverpool fan. So I was like, I kind of allowed him to get this Newcastle top. Um, but it was really difficult for me. That was how much they affected me. Uh, and I didn't want anything to do with Liverpool. I really didn't, guys. It was the, it was the awful time. And, and they still surface every now and then and they have a go on that. You know, but I'm like, I'm knocking on 50 now, you know what I mean? So you look at things a little bit differently when you get older, maybe. So I wanted to distance myself from Liverpool Football Club, even though that was my job. So in effect, that's, you know, if you look at it, Darwin Nunes, he wanted to distance himself from Liverpool Football Club, even though that, that's his job. The only difference I would say is that I think if I was being paid several hundred thousand pounds a week, I really wouldn't have given a fuck. Do you know what I mean? So uh, there's that, and at some point, you know, you've got to understand that professional footballers, in theory, uh, professionals and are trained and this is their career and they should know better than people like me or you that are not trained to deal with that kind of stuff, if that makes sense. But even if you're trained, you can still be brought down by it. It's not nice, you know. Uh, and you imagine if you were receiving, you know, hateful messages towards your your partner or your children, that makes you very angry. It makes you want to lash out and, and it makes you a person that you're probably not in your normal environment. Do you know what I mean? So it's it's a, it's awful. It really is. So whether you're a you know an ordinary fan that's got a couple of hundred followers on your account and that people hate you on there or say you know and latch onto you, or whether you're a big time footballer, hate is hate, and it's not nice basically. So. Let's look at what he's got to say. So we did. I did do a video about this all at the time, to do with the Instagram stuff. Um, 
And I think that I was quite supportive of it because of those reasons that I could understand, understand what it's like. It's not nice. And um, the thing is, Darwin Nunes has the ability or the option to switch off from social media, as does any footballer. They don't have to be on there, you know, giving it large about how great their lives are. Now. You know, they don't have to be on there. Whereas myself, you know, at the time and still today, I have to be on there. You know, that's like, that's what I do. You know, like he, you know, he doesn't have to be on social media, but I had to be on social media, if that makes sense, because you have to fly the flag for what you do. Um, you, if you read what people say about you, negative stuff, it can obviously affect you. And I remember uh, a friend of mine, um, a very famous British actor um, from movies and TV series and things. He didn't have uh, an X account, right? Twitter, as it was called at the time. And I remember being out with him once and I said, how come you don't have, you know, a Twitter account? Like, you know, you're famous sort of thing. And he was like, no, I don't want that though. I don't want to get uh, to grant access to my mind to random people out there. And I was like, right. And he went, well, he says, you might, you know, not have a good performance in a movie or a TV series, like a footballer, you know, not, might not have a good performance. And then someone, you know, some smart person says something that gives you a funnel into your, you know, you're, you're listening, you're seeing what they're saying about you and they're giving you access into a privileged thing, which is you, the person, the brain. And then you can start thinking, was that person right? Is that right? And then you can start doubting yourself. So he refused to put himself on social media because he didn't want to grant people access to affect his state of mind. And it's the same thing, right? So Darwin Nunes, um, if you're reading comments about you, I'm obviously, obviously chancer at football stadiums that have always been there, haven't they? They're never going to go away. Um, and they used to be pretty brutal over the years, if you think about it. But if you think of footballers and managers over the years, many of them have said, don't read the newspapers. Don't, I don't want to know what someone's saying about me. I'll focus on what I'm doing. Um, so Darwin Nunes has to switch off from the social media comments, right? He shouldn't, he shouldn't have to turn away from social media. Why should anybody not be on social media because of some clowns? You know, because at the end of the day, we all have family and friends that might want to see what you're doing in your life. And it's nice to express yourself and, and have memories, you know, of various things, right? So we're, we're going to look at what, he, what he's actually said. Um, he was speaking uh, to Paul La Jersey, at Paul La Jersey, uh, which I assume is for the Jersey. It was picked up by uh, various outlets in Uruguay, Uruguay's Canal 10, uh, Uruguay ESPN and all that. Um, that are basically just, you know, use the quotes. So, and then everybody obviously puts their own spin on it. And basically it's saying that the 24 year old has revealed that the barrage of criticism took its toll, but he insisted he has now resolved to ignore any comment about him, good, bad or indifferent. In other words, I'm not going to read what people are saying about me. And that's a really good decision. It really is. Um, and I think if I was a professional footballer on Instagram, I would have the comment set to just people that I follow. And then you don't have to listen to that. Yeah, and it's shit that you can't listen to the nice things that people are saying about you. But again, you can be browsing through all the nice comments and your bad, a bad one pops up. And, you know, like I always say, I don't know if I've said it in this video already or not, but you can have a thousand people leave comments on a video or a blog entry. 999 of those can be positive and warming and nice and make you feel good and, oh, that's nice. And then you get one awful person, one awful comment. And that one comment is louder than the other 999 comments. And that's just the way that the, the human you know, brain works. It's incredible. Because even if you think back to when I was getting the intense hate, it, you still get it now, but not like it's, they're still out there, they surface every now and then. But when I was getting the intense hate, things like, um, you know, when my... my my, my children's grandfather died on the mum's side. You know, they emailed saying, you know, we know that your granddad's died. We're going to leave off a couple of days, but we'll be back for you. Stuff like that. Real vicious stuff. Do you know what I mean? But even back then, even though that was a group of people, 
they were only a minority versus the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people that appreciated my, co my content and work and said nice things, but they still brought you down. Do you know what I mean? So the fact that Darwin Nunes is now going to say, you know what, I'm not even going to, I'm not going to read any of it so that nothing slips through is a really good decision because clearly he's a person that's affected by that. And we can all laugh and, you know, talk about millionaire footballs, this, that and the other. And to, and to a point, I can kind of understand that, you know, because you can say like, well, we shout, you know, like if when I was doing cop talk back then in 2005 or whatever, you know, if I was being paid millions of pounds a year, they could have fucking said anything about me, honestly. Um, but at the end of the day, when you're already rich and you're already wealthy, uh, it doesn't really make much difference. And, you know, you can only take so much shit, right? I'm not sure how much of the stuff that we're being told that he's supposed to have received is genuine because I think then the top reds and that, you know, they come in and they'll say, oh, his wife's been threatened, there's been death threats. And I think that's just people take, you know, trying to make it sound more worse than it is because I don't believe any of that. Um, but I have seen some absolutely horrendous things said about him, I'll be honest with you, which has included things like, you know, uh, I wish you'd just go away and die. You know, stuff like that. I mean, who says stuff like that? Do you know what I mean? But it's not a death threat. It's just saying... You know, which awful, fucking awful. Um, and that's why they shouldn't be reading it. Anyway, his quotes were, from the moment you start playing and until you retire, there will always be someone who will criticise you. I don't know if I said that uh, to you before. Uh, before I did look at them a lot and it affected me. Whoever says that those negative comments do not affect them is lying. Those negative comments that are directed towards you will always affect you. They tell me everything, but I ignore those comments because they are of no use to me. I never look at the negative comments on social media. At least now I'm not looking at anything, not even the good stuff. If a game goes badly for me, I rely on my family. When things go badly for me, I get hot. But I try to laugh with my family and not show my son the anger I have. What happened in the game is already there. It's already happened and there is always revenge. Now it says here he changed his Instagram display picture to an image of himself, his partner and child all wearing Liverpool kits after Sunday's 2-0 win over Wolves. So one thing that's touched upon is uh, the cheering, you know, by opposition fans um, frequently saying he's just a shit Andy Carroll. Um... It's in particular, uh, you know, Nottingham Forest supporters. And he said, in that game, the Nottingham fans were singing to me, but I didn't understand anything, thank goodness. I ended up scoring the goal on the hour, and then Jurgen Klopp in the locker room said, screw them. <laughs> um, so we could we could go over and over, you know, the, the various angles of what he said, and there's different articles and different reports relating to them. But what I think we can take from them is that Darwin Nunes appears to be wanting to be more focused on himself uh, and building himself as a better player. And to be better at anything in life, whether you're just a, a shitty YouTuber like me, well, I don't consider myself a YouTuber, I don't know why I said that. Um, what I mean is, I fucking have to explain now. There are content creators, YouTube, I don't see that. I just make videos for a laugh for my friends that run alongside the, the website. I don't take YouTube seriously. Um, is it, that's what I mean. I think a YouTuber is someone that takes things seriously. Do you know what I mean? I don't. Um, so whether you are that or whether you are, uh, you know, a builder or a secretary, whatever you do in life, a student, um, the more you focus on you and ignoring the distractions in life, the more you will succeed, the more productive you will be, right? Um, I kind of lost my trail of thought a little bit. You might have picked that up there, but uh, I'm trying to be sensible with it. I like a laugh and a giggle, as you know, um, but I don't like bullies and I don't like to see people bullied. Um, Darwin Nunes, he appears to be focusing on making himself a better person and, and being that more productive person. Whether it will work or succeed, who knows? Um, I also, you know, as well, I am going to say that I think that 
you know, sometimes you do have to man the fuck up. You know, I, I've spoke to people before about hate online and some of these people are always the victim. Do you know what I mean? They're always the victim. And sometimes you just have to think like, did you bring any of it on yourself? Which I know I did when I was younger, in my 20s, because I used to wind the fuckers up on here. Only in retaliation. But as a young boy or young man or whatever, you don't realise, you know, like my mum used to say, silence breeds contempt. In other words, just be silent, don't say anything, you know. Smile, no one, you know, if someone's trying to upset you, just smile, son. You know, um, reacting, responding to hate and negativity is the worst thing you can do online. Because the more you do it, the more they will do it. And they want a reaction. So sometimes when someone leaves a negative comment on here, and when I say negative, I mean nasty, not I've got a different opinion to you. Or, you know, not just a simple, you know, what a load of rubbish or something. Like, if someone leaves a really nasty comment, many times I type it up because it's that's what you do. You bite, you know, I'm typing up a response, you go, fuck it, you fuck it. Right, and then I go, which is what I would have done in my 20s and 30s. Whereas now I just go, just block, they're gone. Do you know what I mean? Like, don't waste your time. So I would always advise that to you. If anyone ever says anything nasty to you in life, on social media, if you're a blogger or a, or a vlogger or anything, do not waste your time on those people because they want you to bite. And I fell into that trap of doing that. And if you think about it, Darwin Nunes, um, you know, he's given, you know, like people, he's critics something to, to use against him. Um, but the point I was going to say was, at the end of the day, you know, these are supposed to be professionals. And if you can't handle some chance from some football supporters, there's seriously something fucking wrong with you. Do you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, you can, you know, respond to those um, supporters and shut the fuckers up, which he has done as well. So, you know, I don't think it's that though. I don't think it's the chance that's gone on top of him. I think it's the probably some of the social media stuff. And if you can imagine, well, you probably haven't, but if you can imagine being a Liverpool player and then people that are supposed to support you um, and be there with you, leaving horrendous comments, one after the, like, like, like this, literally going down the screen like that. Imagine how that must fuck with your head. Because you'd be thinking, I don't want to do anything for you, you fuckers. So then you can understand why he removed his socials, right? He, uh, sorry, the pictures relating to Liverpool. Because he hated those people at that time. And unfortunately, the good people get, you know, uh, grouped into that as well. So I, I complete. I understood back then what was happening and I understand right now what he's trying to say. Um, so for me... Ignore it. Don't fucking read the comments. You, you, social media today is really good because, in some ways, because there are a lot more controls now, you know, on Instagram and X where you can prevent or, you know, certain people from commenting. I don't mean by blocking them. Like on Instagram, I think mine is set to only allowing people that I follow maybe or that follow me or whatever. I don't know. Um, if I was a professional football, I would just put only allow comments from people that I follow. Because that includes your family and friends, doesn't it? You know, so... He's got to man the fuck up in some regards. But there's also the part of me that thinks I understand where he's coming from. So then you've got to address that, haven't you? And eliminate him. What's the best way of not being offended by comments on social media? Don't fucking read them. And that's what he's saying. So I think it, it helped. I think it's helped that he's, that he's brought this out. Do you know what I mean? And I do feel for him. I feel for anybody in life um, that struggles with, with things. So just because they're multi-million pound, you know, lucky people, and, well, maybe they're not lucky. They've worked hard and deserve what the, where they are, right? And that's another thing that some people, uh, especially on social media and X, don't like sometimes. They, they class people as privileged. They think they just walked into being, you know, a professional footballer or something. You know, they've spent their entire lives doing it. You know, fought hard to be where they are. And because people are handsomely rewarded, whether it's in business or as a, as a professional athlete like myself, uh, you know, some people don't like that. You know, they're all bitter. You're paid this, so you're not allowed to be upset. 
you know, kind of thing. So I know my video is all over the place, but it's uh, it's it's a difficult one to talk about because not for me, like I, I'm all right about it. Uh, my experiences are just, you know, what it's part of, it comes with the territory. That's why I used to say to people, it comes with the territory. Um, but it was brutal at one time, that is for sure. But it also inspired me. It inspired me. And here I am all those years later, still here doing it. Uh, what is it? 11 years later? I don't know. 20, 20 no, 20, is it 20? Almost 20 years later. There you go. So, um, I'm not very good at maths. <laughs> so, um, when people hated on me, really intense back in the day and still do, it actually it has the opposite effect to me now. It inspires me because it makes me think you're not going to beat me. And you've got to remember that usually people only hate on you. Um, now I'm going to rephrase that. Um, you can often be hated on because you've done something with your life. You know, uh, there are times that you will be just hated on by people because they're just fucking miserable, awful people. But with me, I find it inspiring. Do you know what I mean? Don't now try and be funny in the comments and put something nasty to think because I won't be. I will, you're sat there laughing as you're typing it up. Here, this dunk will laugh at this, and I just read the text and content with no context. So always put an emoji around something when you when you're being smart. You know what I mean? Because, um, like I say, I don't take any any prisoners, but it does inspire me. So I would I would urge those of you that are you know I know some of you make videos on here about Liverpool, watch my videos. And I would urge you to, you know, when someone leaves a nasty comment and they say so, don't, don't let it affect you. Just make it, you know, take a positive from a negative and think, fuck you, I'm gonna make another video now about the same subject that's just upset you, you know? So for me, I'm, I managed to learn how to turn nastiness into a positive experience for me. And my life has, grown somewhat since um since I was hated when I didn't want anything to do with Liverpool, when I didn't want to speak about football, when I didn't want to speak to Liverpool fans, when I fucking hated everything to do with the club at that time. And look at me now. Um, you know, I, I appreciate everyone that's here. I love the community that we have today. But back then if I'd have thrown the, the towel in, I would never have had you guys today. You know, so that just shows you how you need to keep on going. Do you know what I mean? There are some awful people out there, guys. Just fucking ignore them. Do your shit uh, and keep going. And just remember, there's always you know someone out there that, that values you and does appreciate you. And I would say the same to Darwin Nunes. You know, there's plenty of people out there that like Darwin Nunes. Uh, and although I might not think he's going to be the most amazing player ever, I certainly want to see him succeed. And having known what he's gone through and clearly... Um, seeing him struggle mentally um, next season, how rewarding would it be for us to see the lad doing well? So for next season, I'm really going to try, uh, you know, and get behind this lad and, and help. And what I mean by help is not be one of those people that's just poking fun and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? We'll always have a banter. Uh, but let's just see. Let's hope he does well. Uh, we've got a new manager, it's a new period, um, but I've, I've still got to say this at the end of the video, he's also got to man the fuck up a little bit, do you know what I mean? All right guys, so I don't think I've done a very good video to be honest, let me know if you thought it was all right, because I don't know, it, it's, uh, I don't know, I could talk about hate and stuff for, for hours because I've been subjected to some of the worst things you can imagine online, um, all from following football, which is kind of bizarre, isn't it? You know, it's not, I'm not involved in politics or controversial topics in society. Um, just because I supported a football club from from being a young boy and, and managed to do all right with it. You know, and it can create a lot of um, negativity sometimes. And unfortunately, there are a lot of people associated to our football club that are not very nice people that are in or associate to certain groups of people. Um, they might have opinions. You know, one of the biggest reasons I was hated on was because I was 
an out-of-towner, not from Liverpool. Uh, so I had those people that don't like those people hate on me. That was one reason, you know. I was the first person to introduce memberships, even though they were optional. I knew that advertising was going to collapse, and that's what happened in the year 2000 when the dot-com bubble burst. It just so happened that I saw what was going to happen. So I found an alternative revenue stream, and because I did that, the people on the other Liverpool websites, you know, called me a con man, a scammer, the internet should be free and all that. Yeah? Yet yeah, all of those people all have memberships and subscription options today, which they seem to forget. I was just a bit more brighter than them because I got in before them. And if I'm completely honest with you, I hate memberships and I hate subscriptions. I love you guys that support me uh, and have a channel membership or a VIP membership or you support the podcast or whatever. But I don't like them because it does exclude some people. And I don't like that. Um, but it's the way it is today because advertising revenue doesn't pay what it did like a quarter of a century ago. Do you know what I mean? So, But that's the way of life, unfortunately. All right, guys, waffling now. Um, if you appreciate the video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, let me know what you think about Darwin Nunes. And I think he's done the right thing there. I'm not really sure there is a big debate to have really in the comment section on this video, but uh, if you want to buy me a beer or um, a coffee or whatever, hit the super thanks. I feel a bit like down now, but I'm, I'm, I'm not down. I'm not depressed. There's not absolutely nothing on my mind. It hasn't brought back any memories or anything like that. Um, I just think it's such a, you know, talking about hate's not a nice thing. It's just not nice. And when you see, I, 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 when this came out about Darwin Nunes, I really did dig deep online to see if I could find death threats and comments, you know, awful comments. And I did find some and just from people of all walks of life, not just 13, 14 year old kids, but fully grown men, you know, vile, disgusting, awful people exist, especially on that platform behind me on X, which is why I do not engage or interact in the football community on there. I ain't got time for that. All right, guys, take it easy. Come on, Darwin. Let's uh, see what you can do with this uh, this season, sunshine.